Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Gerard and right off the bat I can tell you it's an absolute sh** day today here on the farm. Or like we say it in Afrikaans, a pire kak dag. The wind is howling. I try to set up my cameras, they keep on blowing over on the tripods. The sound is all over the place. But I'm still going to go out there and give it my best shots to give you guys some good entertainment footage. Plus, I'm going to take this opportunity today to discuss my gun setup and give you some pointers. So let's go out there and let's see what we can do. Right in the clock box. Oh, lovely. Ooh, what a lovely shot, 132 yards. So I think the best thing to do is to start with my gun setup for today and it's an M3 impact fitted with the latest 800mm barrel. Inside this barrel is a superior heavy slug liner which has the standard twist rate as what all the other superior heavy slug liners have. Nothing funny in there. Then I have a Donny FL Ronin silencer in the front, a Accutech bipod, a Arca Swiss row from Sabre Tactical, an Element Nexus scope from Element. At the back, a Sabre Tactical buttstock from Sabre Tactical. And then for a grip, I've got this beautiful red laminate grip from Form Rifle Stocks. You will also see that there is a larger air cylinder on here. It's a 700cc, which I bought myself and did not get from FX. I fitted it. I will give you guys an update on how many shots I get once I've tested it. I haven't tested it yet, so I can't tell you how many shots I'm getting right now. The slugs that I'm shooting today is the heavy slugs. It's a 40 grain 218 and I'm shooting it at 980 feet per second. Ouch! Dead meat. The very first thing what I do when I get this gun is to set my regulator pressures. The front regulator at the bottle I always set as a standard to 200 bar. Always make sure that the front regulator is at least 30 to 50 bar in difference from your rear regulator. After the front rack is set I will move to my rear regulator. Now for slug shooting I have found any pressure between 150 to 170 bar is more than enough to get me good decent speed if I shoot anything between 21 grain all the way to 40 grain in 22 caliber. I will take the gun and start shooting groups over the chronograph. Now the speeds that I'm looking for is anything between 900 
and a thousand feet per second. I have found over all these years of testing and developing that most of the slugs do like this speed range. Don't quote me on this, you can shoot slower or you can shoot faster, but if you want to stick in a good zone where it's the safest and you will get most likely the best harmonic note, then try to aim between 900 and 1000 feet per second. Ninety-four yards. <laughs> oh, boy. Nice little headshot there. So by now, most of you should know that I've teamed up with H&N to design a brand new heavy slug range. These slugs will be available in 34, 56, 38 and 40 grain, both 217 and 218 caliber. The best part of these slugs is it's got a brand new hollow point design which guarantees maximum expansion upon impact, like most of you have seen in my previous video. Down he goes. So here's a question that a lot of you have asked before and that is do I use a standard FX magazine in my gun? And the answer to this is yes and no. Like you can see I've got an aftermarket 3D printed lid. The reason for this is I am using 40 grain slugs in this magazine. If I have to fit the standard lid on here the longer slugs won't be able to fit. And this is the reason why I had to make a 3D printed lid for this magazine. I'm pretty sure FX is going to make up their own version of this lid but for now I'm using an aftermarket 3D printed lid. <laughs> oh, right into the chest. <laughs> Ouch.
this is a Donny FL Ronin silencer and it keeps this gun very very quiet I absolutely love it but do you guys think that that's the only reason why that silencer is on this specific gun the answer to that is no the way this works is I choose a specific silencer or model to go with the best harmonics for my barrel each silencer weighs a different weight the one is lighter or heavier than the other and by adding weight or taking weight away from your barrel changes your harmonics and when your harmonics change your accuracy change so if you've got more than one silencer back home swap them out on your gun setup and you might see that your accuracy will either increase or decrease because you're changing that harmonic note just a tip from me to you Smoked. Little house sparrow, nice. Well guys, that is where I'm gonna call it. The wind is unbearable. I won't be able to shoot any further anymore. I hope you guys found this video at least informative. I wanna thank you for watching it all the way through. It's been a tough, tough day. I hope next time when we meet again, that we can return to the normal video again. Uh, I want to thank all the new guys for watching. Remember, if you'd like to see some more, remember to subscribe. For all the guys who are watching and like this video, remember to smash that like button down below. I will really appreciate it. Thanks for watching and I will see you next time. Cheers.